And I think we're going to go live. Oh, you can use a pen then. All right, good afternoon, everyone, as we come to the conclusion of the day. Well, actually not yet. Um, can everyone please get out their notebooks? So students, if you're still need to get out your notebooks, please do that now. And you can turn to the next blank page if you'd like. Okay, so social studies notebook, pencil, Chromebooks are closed. In here I see, and Chromebooks are closed everywhere right now, aren't they? Okay. All right, while we're waiting for others, hopefully not too many, uh, you can write histogory, histogory on the top. Histogory. If you don't know how to spell it, put hist. Uh, and gory after that. Histogory number four. And Mrs. Potter has already beat me to the punch. She's given us the letter of the day. Okay, we're going to come back to that. All right, first things first. Now that you finished the sign of the beaver, um, hopefully those at home also finished sign of the beaver, uh, you may use this as a who's reading book for um, for Mrs. Walt, for, I'm sorry, Mrs. Hughes. Okay, so there's the who's reading website. How many in this class? Be honest with me and with yourself. How many of you have taken a who's reading class? Who, who's reading test this year? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, if we could have eight, that'd be half of the class. So about seven people have. Well, guess what? If I ask this question in two days after you do um, the sign of the beaver for who's reading, we'll have 100%. Okay? All right, another thing. If you have not turned in the geography check in that was assigned on Thursday, I believe it was, maybe Friday, okay? I need it soon, very soon. Ten of you. All right. Um, this is still ongoing because today is the 23rd. So if you have time sometime today, I'm not sure how much work time you'll have to do today, but this is still open. Speaking of the cahoots, Wisconsin Geography, top 11 this week, get the prizes. Here's top 10 for that one. Okay. There is up to number 11. Okay, this one's Wisconsin Geography. Would you like to see the top 11 for colonial American history? Well, yes, Mr. Glinsky, we would. Okay, so top 10. And you see a lot of people are flying directions by, and guess what? Only eight players. So everyone on this list, winner, winner, chicken dinner so far. Okay. This one is French and Indian War. Only eight players. So if your name is on this list, keep up the good work. Don't let anyone bump you off the list. And um, wait, why does it say, I'm sorry. This one does, this one has 16. My mistake. All right. And the final one, Ben Franklin. Wonder why I picked that one. This one has 17 players. Top 11 get prizes this week. Okay. Looks like someone went out there. T this person has first and, I'm sorry, has 10th and 11th place. That's fine. Your name can be added more than once. Okay. What's that? Can you name like 1 through 11? Sure. The question is, so could your name be on here 11, 11 times? Yep. <laughs> does that mean you get 11 places to be true? I will consider it. If you've done that much work, I will consider that you have won all 11 places. Wow. Great, great, great. All right. Back to the histogory. Um, we have Mrs. Potter selecting E. I'm going to bring it up here. All right. Is E on this list? Yes, it is. And E has not been chosen yet. It's been C-A-H. So everyone, do me a favor. On the top of your histogory, please put letter E somewhere on the top so you know that you're only looking for E's. E. Sesame Street. All right. Here is list four. So the, I need you to copy these items down, please. Okay. 
Number one, you're going to find a world language that begins with E. Not English. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'm going to say not English for number one. Not English. Oof. Number two, things you see on a map that begin with an E. Famous invention that begins with an E. U.S. river that begins with an E. A U.S. river. And a famous American that begins with an E. It can be first name or last name or both. And it looks like Mrs. Potter is... Oh, she's on fire today. She and her class are on fire. They've already started to... Um, she's already started to give us some categories. Categories and then hopefully answers pretty soon. All right. So, world language, not English. Big you see on a map. Famous invention, U.S. River. Famous... American. I'll leave this up here while you are working independently, everyone. So in about five minutes, we will come back, and I will um, listen to your answers, and I will share answers possibly from Mrs. Hughes, Mrs. Potter, Mrs. Walter, and possibly virtual students. So you may use uh, your Chromebook. You may use uh, Google. Okay. All right, teachers, if you have a chance, please um, get some responses from your students and put them in the live document. If not, I completely understand. My class should be able to fill the void. See you in about four and a half minutes. About one minute. About one minute, yes. If you were done early, check the spelling, check the capitalization. I believe one, at least three of these get capital letters. Okay. I lied. 30 seconds.
All right, let's begin closing our books of Chrome. Chrome books, that is. Even if you didn't finish, that's okay. Um, hopefully, you'll you'll learn something from other people. Now, when we are done with all these lists, and we're gonna, my goal is to have all these lists done by this week. Not gonna happen. By the time we get to list eight, we will have a plethora of new things that we hopefully. Uh, we're never aware of before the day you look these things up new things to do a mini research project on Okay, for example today Number one I'll go my, my class first. Who'd like to give me the world language? Okay, um, Alexander Hamilton. What do you got? Estonian. Say it again Estonian, Estonian. ooh uh, in Eastern Europe, okay, uh, what do you have? Egyptian Arabic, okay, who in my class? Things you see on a map. Um, excuse me, Anthony. Europe. Say it again. Europe. Europe? Like the continent? Yes. Uh, George Washington. Oh, El Salvador. Correct. And the last one? The Earth. The Earth. I suppose you could have, yes, a map. Is a map of the Earth. Famous invention, my class. Famous invention. Let's go with Neil Armstrong. Elevator. Elevator. Escalator. Okay. What do you have, um, John F. Kennedy? Say it again? EA Sports. EA Sports, the video game system. Interesting. Wait, that's system, right? That's just a, is that a company that makes video games? <laughs> Sweet. Let's go on the U.S. River. Okay, uh, let's go with a new one here. Um, Haley. Eagle River. Yeah, that's a popular one. Uh, excuse me, Anthony. Edwards River in Illinois. And this is one that I just discovered. Neil Armstrong, lay it on us. Okay, the Devil, Devil's River is officially known as the East River. Nice. All right, I'm going to go to Mrs. Hughes' class. Unfortunately, we don't have time. I can't categorize these things, but we've got Espanol, Equator, Escalator, or Elevator, or Electric. Tris, electric shaver, which is what I need. Eagle River and Einstein and Eminem. Eminem, the uh, musical artist. Okay, let's go to Mrs. Potter. We've got Espanol, Equator, East Earth, Electricity Encyclopedia, East River, Eagle River, Thomas Edison, Emilio Estevez. Have you guys ever seen Breakfast Club? Emilio Estevez was the wrestler in that movie, okay? And Albert Einstein. Boy, I sound old right now. Anyway, um, Mrs. P Mrs. Walter. Okay. Albert Einstein would be the famous American. Yeah, he became, he was not born in America, but he became an American citizen. All right, we got Egyptian, Equator, Earth, Elevator, Earbuds, okay? Eagle River. Ellen? Would that be Ellen DeGeneres? Eleanor Roosevelt. Okay, hopefully we've been exposed to something new here. Okay, so everyone, if you have a, by the way, it's really important to identify these things, so that's why you need to copy this down. Otherwise, it might not make sense. So, how many of you are ready to close the page on that one? I know that was a quick warm up to so close the page. Oh, open up the next page. Okay, please open up to the next page. Teachers, thank you for giving me some awesome ones. And this time I can read all of them. So I have to put down the All right, do me a favor. On the title, I need you to write Conflicts and Cooperation. That is going to be the title. That goes on the top page. Conflicts and Cooperation. A good name for a band. Conflicts and cooperation. You got that on top? That's all you need to write. Okay. Where are my notes? I'm going to be skipping a few slides here. Because otherwise, if you had to copy everything down, you'd be here until um, the time you have to wash dishes after dinner. Okay. I did that You did? You want to come over and wash my dishes? OK, 
Okay, on the slide that you see here titled Native Americans, you don't have to title it again. Can you please copy down fact number two and fact number three? Here's fact number two. As more settlers came to the New World for land, the Native Americans did not like the new settlers. Okay? So you can shorten up by writing didn't. If you don't like, I know, a couple letters. Just got a question about when are we done? Um, are we done with the sound of the beaver? The answer is yes. And on Tuesday, on Thursday, I'll show you the next book. The next uh, note: Many wars were fought between the colonists and the Native Americans. Okay, we'll do. We'll go into depth as to what the name of those, some specific names of those wars. There's definitely a progression here of um, apprehension, cooperation, and then it turned into distrust. Let me know if you need clarification on anything, teachers. Okay. I guess in some sense, and I hope it's not disrespectful, but if you want capital N, capital A for Native Americans, because these are the notes, that'd be fine, just as long as you know what that represents. Okay? All right. French and Mary, the French and Indian War. I need you to copy this down because this um, explorer, his claim of the Ohio River was really, really significant because it kind of put a wedge between the French and the British. He moved into an area where the British thought was theirs, which resulted in the French and Indian War. Robert LaSalle, his claim, the, he claimed for the French, and he moved into the Ohio River Valley. And by the way, you don't have to do the titles. The only title you had to have was um, conflict, and, conflict and Cooperation. You know, many times um, the hair you see in their portraits was in actually real hair. This was a sign of wealth and prestige and respect if you had the hair like this. So you, it was a wig. Sure. I should wear one to school. Oh, they're styling. Anyway, got this one down? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one. And I need you to write down on this one, okay, both of these, please. Don't need to include the title. To protect their claims, the English colonists and their mother country went to war with the French and their colonists. With the French and their colonists. So we had them moving into the Ohio River Valley. British were already there. This caused a lot of tension, frustration, conflict, turning into war for territory. And the second one also. The French actually made several promises to Native Americans that if and when they won the war, Native Americans would gain a little more freedom, more control. 
put the second one right here. It's always a good idea to look at your notes to make sure they make sense to you. And when you look at the maps, you see a lot of these things going on, especially the Ohio River Valley issue. And some of the things, some of these things are addressed in the uh, the cahoots. I don't know if you discovered that by working on those cahoots. All right, let's finalize this, and I'm going to make a note to show these again on Thursday. All right, I hate to, hate to rush you, but I'm going to move forward to the next thing because we're getting close to work time. Okay, um, I'm going to close this out for now. No, actually, I'll wait about 10 more seconds. Did anyone read the rights of the agenda? It's National What Day? Did you read it? <laughs> it's been National Banana Bread Day. And I love banana bread, too. Okay, so I'm right here. Today is National Banana Bread Day. So, now you've got more work to do at home making your mom some banana bread or your dad or your, or your wonderful social studies teacher all right when you get to um work time today in about one minute you're going to find this in google classroom don't open your chromebooks yet please because you're just like me when that computer is open you're probably paying attention to 67.2 percent all right you're going to find this in, um posted today can someone please read this simple sentence right there Yes, uh, Steve Jobs. That's in two days. So before you leave today, you're going to watch this video and that video. If you want to take notes, you can. Okay, you're going to plug into your device. You're going to plug in. Teachers, please do me a favor. Monitor the classroom because they should only be watching two social studies videos. Okay. Um, they're about the colonies. They're about why the New World was colonized. And then on Thursday, when you come to class, be prepared to answer some questions based on these videos. My class, any questions for me? No? We're good? All right, hopefully we're good, teachers. I'm gonna check. By the way, you can get started while I'm checking the document. Thanks for being patient. Okay, and I think we're good. So uh, students, you know what to do? Everyone else, let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you on Thursday. Take care.